So yes, we invested about 220 crores in uh, setting up a fabrication shop, which we are now expanding. Uh, we could have invested about 100 crores less in setting up the same shop, but the reason we decided to go fully automated is because of a very large labor problem that our country is experiencing today. And I think everybody here would agree with me, anybody who is in business of contracting or manufacturing or supplying parts to the developers would agree with that. Now, as I said, you know, when I was sitting and listening to all the causes that uh, BAI is fighting for with the government, uh, what I understood is that, excuse me, can I just request a bit of silence, please? Thank you. What I understood is that uh, you are the ideal body to bring a change. There was a news this morning that a small bridge structure collapsed at the Mumbai airport and some workers were killed. Sorry? Near my road. Yeah. Now, I don't know how many such incidents are happening all over the country daily which are going unnoticed, unannounced. I think this is an extremely sad day and uh, we should learn from experiences like this and make sure that our construction practices get safe. Right? You know, forums like this are very good. You know, we meet here to discuss what we can change, how we can change it how we can improve the country, what we can fight for labor rights, how we can work on CES, how we have mastered the art of, uh, what was the word you used sir? I forgot. Mastered the art of uh, misconception? Misconception, yeah. So the biggest misconception today that I would like to break is that steel structures are more expensive than concrete structures. And this is also an art that has been mastered by all of us in the country. You know, it doesn't matter what structure of construction we use, whether it is steel, whether it is concrete, whether it is myvan, whether it is anything, that is irrelevant. What matters is how we manage the material of the construction, the management of the project. Today, most builders, developers, factory owners, mall owners, their core business is not to construct Construction is not their core business. Mudda Saab core business is construction. My core business is construction. Vijay Raija's core business is not construction. That is part of their core business. Our core, this is what we do. This is what our expertise is. Now what happens is when the superman mentality clicks in and says, you know, we want to do everything. So today, uh, you must have all heard about this 48 hours one project was done in uh, Mohali, Chandigarh. Chandigarh, right? 48 hours. Unbelievable. In India. Now, I think everybody should learn from this. I'll just now skip a little back and say why we started JSW Shelfie to begin with. What brought about in us to create this company? We were building our own JSW steel headquarters in Bandarapulla complex. And Mr. Jindal, being a steel promoter, said, you know, I want to build a building of steel. So he got the best architect, best consultant. I mean, we can afford anything, right? We are an 85,000 crore group. We got the best architect, best consultant, best engineers, and we started fabricating on site. The project was supposed to be completed in two years, it took eight years. This is our own corporate headquarter building. So Sajanji called me and said, you know, how the hell do we make sure this doesn't happen again? Not only for me, but for everybody else in the country. I said, look, we've invested 800, 900 crores in this project. We're going to have to invest 200 crores more. And that is the only way it doesn't happen again. And we're going to have to put a plant, a factory to make buildings. Because only in a process like manufacturing can you take away all the supply chain issues. So we actually are making today buildings in factories. Now how does that to believe? I think the plant you saw in the video right before that explains everything we do from procuring the material to supplying the material. What happens today in our construction, 
there is a mindset problem or i don't know if it's a problem or i just think it's a cultural uh, habit that we have that the minute we have procured the land we want to start construction we are in such a hurry to start construction uh, we want to see 300 400 people on site moving around doing something whatever it may be it could be digging a hole they could be digging a pipe they could be killing themselves whatever but we are in a hurry to start construction i think every contractor in this room will agree that this is a common pain area and in client is in such a hurry to start construction that the most important part of construction which is called construction planning is ignored the 48 hour building that was constructed in mohali was a prime example of 2 years of planning and 48 hour of execution so what happens the end date remains the same it is going to happen at the end of 2 years so what is the difference it makes whether there is activity on site for 2 years or not right the end justifies the means so basically if us in this room today if we don't do it and we don't change this mindset the country will never improve people will still keep dying there will still be unsafe practices you know today we are looking at uh, delays everybody is saying india mein sala building time to banta hi nahi kyun nahi banta hai primary reason is it's not a fault with india it's not a fault with indians i think we are very smart people 80% plus of nasa is indians so we are making rocket ships we are making uh, aeroplanes why can't we make buildings on time so the problem is not with the country the problem is not with it the problem is with a small portion of the mindset that we can change and there are a lot of people in the industry who are willing to change the mindset but there are deterrent factors which are not allowing so we took a bold step we said you know what we are not going to fall uh, criminal to activities like let's hurry up the construction on site i want to see action from my side tomorrow morning onwards uh, and then what happens the plan is not clear the drawings are not frozen every day there is a change on site every day there is a delay every day a rework is there so at the end of the day the project gets delayed it becomes unsafe because of the panic mentality and there is a complete lack of synchronization one day there is labor there is no raw material one day there is raw material there is no labor one day there are both it's raining so how are you supposed to construct and build a project in such a dense environment so what we did in a nutshell is take this entire activity off site so all this is not done now on site it's in a covered factory controlled environment with a shed with skilled highly skilled fully trained in house labor with full access to provident fund health insurance etc no seasonal leaving they are on payrolls of a company like jsw steel which is an a class employer pays 20 25% over the market and uh, i've been asked to talk a little less so i'm going to try to hurry up yeah so in a nutshell what we are achieving today is safer faster construction uh and and keeping this in mind i wanted to point out again that just because we are a steel structure manufacturer doesn't mean that i'm saying concrete is a bad material concrete is a fantastic material it has taken our country where we are today and a marriage between concrete and steel structures which is what we promote in most of our buildings result in it results in a very fast uh, construction technology which is safe and which is off site so i would accept mr muda's invitation and we are glad to be a part of the association part of jsw surfield family part of jsw steel family and in any way i can help to bring about uh, this change or any other changes uh, is more than welcome in our group thank you very much for your time thank you mr singh just just wait for it just thank you very much for your nice presentation we are sure that with your help there will be a day that our own members are going to construct the building within 48 hours and uh, that is that should not be far away as long as you are available in the uh, with the technology thank you sir may i request our president uh, yes yes i request our president mr b sanaya to please present a memento as a token of gratitude 
to Mr. Anshul Singhal, Director, Mr. JSW Sempi Structures Limited. JSW are our platinum partners. Mr. Harshad Patel, Mr. Harshad Patel. 